coming in to do a tutorial with you. I hope if you haven't noticed, I love teaching. And when I can roll my sleeve and get into Canva or some content creation or just show you something cool, I love it. Because when I learn something, it's like the light bulb goes on, you know what I'm talking about? Especially if you're like trying to figure something out and you're like, how did that person do that or whatever. So much fun. So we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have fun, fun today. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we're gonna do a Canvas tutorial right now, where I'm actually going to show you how to create a reel inside of Canva that you can actually use to add trending audio to and really establish your credibility and authority. When we give people tips, just little nuggets, they're gonna want more. Okay, and I'm actually gonna give an invitation to you. As we go through this training today, if you're just like, wow, like this is the kind of teaching I need. I need short, I need sweet, I need like step-by-step, step, I need someone to guide me. That's actually what we do inside of our program. So this that's where we are able to spend the time with you to pull back the curtain and walk you through everything. There's only so much we can do on a quick Facebook Live, right? So that's my invitation to you is to shoot me a DM. I'd love to talk to you about more about where you can fit into what we've got going on, but that's exactly what we do inside of our program. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna get into Canva. I'm gonna share screen and show this to you. What I'd like for you to do is I'm going to give you a template. So on the replay video of this, we'll put it in the description. So if you're watching a replay, click there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give you this template. So when we're done with it, you can click the, the, the template link. Now the key is you have to be logged into Canva before you open the template link or it's just gonna say like link broken, okay? It's not broken, it's user error. So make sure you're logged into Canva. And if there's any pro features, you, you might have to upgrade your account. If you are not willing to do that, there are free options out there, but I actually really wanna challenge you if you are primarily building on social media, this is a tool that you need for your business. So just as if you had a, you know, a dry cleaning business at a brick and mortar and you needed a special uh, equipment to steam the clothing, you would buy that equipment. It's kind of the same thing. So think of like uh, software apps, websites, you know, the, the things that, that cost money. Sometimes it's actually an investment into our business. It's a tool that we need. Okay. So I'd love for you to share in the comments with me. Uh, do you know how to use Canva? Where are we beginner? Are we intermediate? Are we advanced? What do we got going on? Okay. And I think I might show you what the finished product looks like first, and then you can get a visual and then I'm going to walk you through everything. Okay. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here and let's go over here. Okay. So this is over here is the finished product. This is the reels tab. So you guys can see my different reels and this is the one we're doing right here. Okay. All right, so let me make sure I pause that with oh, the audio is off. Okay, perfect. So what happens is if you do a really short reel like that and, and there's some tips, people will go back and watch it again and again to get the tips or screenshot it. And that's what you want. You want them to actually um, take a screenshot. Do you guys see our new logo? Let me show it to you guys. Let me see if I can pause it. Okay, this is just the stamp version. We have like a full one, but didn't you, isn't it cute? So fun, right? We just had, we just got that back. <laughs> okay, so the ADD in me is kicking in, so we're gonna move on. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna make the Canva, and then the cool thing is, is people will watch over and over again to get the tips, and you can really use this for anything, okay? So let me just check the comments really quick. Oh, you love it? Thank you so much. All right, so this is what this is gonna look like. The first thing you're gonna do, um, if you are uh, making this, just take mine and you can actually um, just work off of this and make your own thing, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to wanna have yourself on the cover here and actually you know what I might do? Um, let me try something really quick. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see if I can work on a copy and that way I don't mess my original up. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to say use template. Okay. All right. So we're just going to play with this. This is the copy. Okay. So what you're going to do is this right here is going to be your cover of your reel. It's going to be the first part of the reel. I recommend having a picture of you. And then I recommend having a, uh, some kind of, uh, call out here. So people know what it's about. I mean, you can move this anywhere you want. You can change the color of it. You can do something totally different. Um, you know what I mean? Like you can, there's a gazillion things you can do here. Uh, if you want to, if it's possible, just go to uploads and you can upload a picture of yourself. And then, um, you know, I could just do this one, drag it over and it's going to, it's going to fill that whole thing up with that picture. If you don't have pictures of yourself, I do recommend getting, um, getting some photos done. The other thing that you can do is if you have more selfies, um, 
Just go to um, elements and type in uh, frame. And then this is actually how you can add uh, a picture in. So here, let me show you what it looks like. So this is, uh, let's just do this one right here. Actually, it'd be cooler if it was a cell phone. Oh, here we go, here's the cell phone. Okay, so we've got this right here. So you could actually have, um, you know, just a picture with you in it. So let's just grab this one again. Okay, you just drag that over. And then now we've got this pink background, which we can change the color. And then we could even do um, click elements just to get some different graphics here. And so maybe we do, uh, let's do this big circle. Okay. And you can change the color of it. Just click on it. Edit image. Um, let's see. Why is it not changing the color? You can change the color. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. So it's really, really kind of odd. Um, it's kind of, okay, we're, normally it says right here, it says change the color. Okay, we're just gonna move on. So we can even do, uh, we can pick one of these and change the color. Maybe it's just the way it's made. It's uh, So let's see, with mine, we might wanna do white when you guys say, let's just do classic. Okay, I'd probably make that a little whiter, but we're gonna roll with it. And then you're gonna put your words in here. And then if you want to um, change the words, just highlight over them, type the words, and then there's different fonts you can do over here as well, okay? Whatever, and then you can make them bigger. So basically what we wanna do is we want it to be really quick, easy, and simple for people to know what, what, this, what this is gonna be about, okay? This is just like your little preview here, okay? So you can use mine and just replace mine with your picture and your title, or you can just get creative in there. And you can also, if you go to um, the homepage, you can type in real covers and you could use that first slide to make a real cover. You could also do that, okay? So like you could use this one right here, super cute. And now these are all, oh, these are actually way better, actually. I would just do that instead of trying to make one from scratch like I was doing, like even this one looks better than what I just did how to get more real views. Okay, so just type in real covers and I want your first slide to be branded, okay? Make sure you use your colors, your brand colors, all of that. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the next slide. So this one also, you can have a background. Um, so we can just delete this background and we can just have it be white. And then this is actually, um, let's see, templates, yeah. Okay, so if you use mine and you click templates, it's gonna show you some different ones that um, like this one could work, my weekly activity. So what we wanna do is we wanna give some tips. So if you're in beauty, you might say um, five tips to uh, make sure your makeup stays on all day. Or it could be five tips to uh, spend more wisely on a budget. So just think of like five tips, three tips, seven tips, whatever you want. I wouldn't do too many tips. Five tips is a good amount. And then you're just going to use this right here to make your different title, you know, five tips to uh, saving money on a, you know, uh, being uh, money savvy on a budget. And then you're gonna actually give your tips here, okay? So you can change the colors, you can change the font, you can, you can move it all around. Just make sure you put screenshot this on it and then your handle at the bottom, whatever your username is. And then the last one would be your logo. And if you don't have a logo, then put something else such as, um, you could put something that says, grab, uh, grab, my, uh, grab my 28 day reels challenge uh, link and then put link in bio. Like do something here. If you don't have a logo, maybe a call to action to join your community. But this is really powerful because if people are scrolling, um, then what happens is, is if they, if they're scrolling and they see my reel and they watch it really quick, they move on. But if it lands here and they watch the whole thing, which this is like, what, nine seconds, then now I've actually gotten their, their attention where they can see me, Kimberly Olson, the gold digger girl. So it's, it's brand recognition. They're way more likely to remember me if they, they can land here. Okay. So if you're not doing some kind of end card, I would do something like this. Okay. Same thing. It's just, this is just a, a logo graphic. You can put, um, you know, a picture of your freebie or you could just type it, you know, do a call to action. But that one I'd also do if you go to the reels covers, um, like right here, for example, this one, six ways to protect your inner peace. I would use something like this that says, grab my blank, click link in bio. And I would end on that. 
or follow me for more, follow me for more tips. All right. So we are uh, going to end on that where you're going to tell them, follow me for more tips and then put your handle or whatever, but you've got to have some kind of call to action here. Okay. All right. So basically now this is where the fun happens. So you're going to actually, um, Let's see if I can do it. Let me show you guys with a new graphic. So that way it's a fair, fair game here. Okay. So this one's a great one. How to grow. This is actually super cute. Um, how to grow small businesses. So what you actually going to do is we need to, we need to animate this. And what animate means is we're going to make it, uh, make it interactive. Okay. So I'm just going to show you from scratch. So you understand how this works. So when you click animate, we're going to tell it to bring this thing to life and you get to choose how long you want it to be. Okay. So let, let me show you what that looks like. Okay. Here's um, all the graphics coming in. Here's all the graphics coming up. Isn't that cute? Doesn't that look fun? I mean, who does not want to make this right now? Like this is so fun. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. It must, it must be the attention span issues with me, but okay. So now we get to pick one of those fun ones. There's other ones down here. Okay. So we'll go back to the one that I made that you guys get a copy of. So I, these are all animated, okay? Let's see. And this says simple, but you can actually change that. So you might say, well, I want it to come up like that. Cool, go ahead and change it, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're actually, each card, this is really important, okay? Each card has so many seconds. If you click on this specific card, I'm on page one, if you click it, it is only talking about page one right now. You can tell it to apply to all three pages. So what you wanna do is you wanna check, okay, this one's at three seconds. You want the middle card to be longer because there's more reading, uh, four seconds. And then the last one I have is uh, two seconds, okay? A total of nine seconds. And the, my favorite part about this is that it looks professional, right? It's all the things. And you can add trending audio to it because it's hard enough to find the trending audio. Oh, I also have something that um, might be helpful to you guys if you need help with trending audio. Uh, it's hard enough to find trending audio, right? But imagine being able to make something and then boom, you add the trending audio to it. So you're able to jump on trends and you've got it done where it doesn't need to be you being like, oh, hey, what's up? And you're like trying to make up a thing with it, right? So um, uh, our uh, one of our coaches reached out to me and she said, you know, do you think it would be helpful if we did something after, after the conference where I could teach what's been working for me? Because she's been really focused on um, TikTok. And then she obviously repurposes over on Reels and Instagram. So all about training audios, how to use hashtags, how to find the, the videos that you know, are working and things like that. Just like little cool things she's been learning because she's really been mastering that platform. So if you would like that, um, she wants to put something together for you guys. So if you do want something like that, just put TikTok in the comments and I'll connect with her um, and we'll put something on the books for you guys, okay? Um, all right, so let me see here. So what I want you guys to do on the replay of this, we are gonna put the template link, the Canva template link in the description area of this live. Okay, so if you're watching replay, just click it right there. If you're on with us live, um, you can go ahead and watch that. And yeah, you can just rewatch it, no worries. Oh, TikTok, okay, you all want that, all right. So Leanne, <laughs> congratulations Leanne, you're gonna lead a TikTok challenge. Um, she's gonna do that for you guys right after conference, isn't that cool? And um, she's been doing such cool things and she keeps popping up everywhere I look. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's been bringing her A-game. So she volunteered to spend some time with you guys. And it's it's a lot of work to put those challenges on or just tutorials and stuff like that because I've done the 28 Day Reels Challenge was like so much work. I'm so glad I did it because now we, we can go to that, right? Uh, but I want to thank her in advance because I know how much work it is to put those together. So thank you, Leanne. You're the best. Yes. <laughs> um, so yes, we love Leanne. So uh, it's going to be really helpful too because she's really paying attention to like just how to use the app, you know, not only audio trends, but like the bells and whistles and just the features and that techie part of it can be a little tricky for people. So yeah, she's going to, she's going to help all of us with that, which is awesome. Okay. So your homework is to make one reel using Canva. So you don't have to use mine. You can use this inspiration. You just type in um, reels, covers, you can get a good cover. The middle part, maybe type in like 
business tips or fitness tips or workout tips, and you'll see different um, templates come up that you can replace with your own tips, different colors, fonts, whatever, but you just need something to work off of. And then an end card where, where people can find out more about you. So put your logo if you have a logo or a call to action of how they can connect with you if you have a freebie. So those are the three parts I want to see in it because I want you just to do it as soon as possible. If you say, you know what, I'm going to come back on Friday and watch this, you're not. Like, I'm just going to be straight up with you. But if you're like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to get one done. Oh, you know, it'd be really fun. I want you guys to tag me. So after you make the reel, share it into your stories and then tag me on it. That's what I want you guys to do. Then I can see what you guys come up with. <gasps> How fun is that? I would come up with a contest right now, but I can't think of anything. So there we are. Okay. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, like I said, this is what, this is how we teach inside of our programs. It's very much watch do right. But we're right alongside there with you to help you troubleshoot or if you get stuck. So definitely reach out um, to myself, my team, any of us here at Gold Digger Headquarters. We're happy to share more about what that would look like. I can't wait to see your reels and see what you guys uh, do with this is going to be great. So you're going to make it, you're going to add audio to it and post it, write a little caption, share it in your stories and tag me so I can see what you guys come up with. And I'd love to shout you out for that. All right, guys, until next time, get lit your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon.